the amazing power of prayer points. According to the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 2, the Bible says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This clearly shows that God Almighty and His Word are one, and He does nothing without His Word. In other words, the Word that God speaks represents His heart's desires. That is, the amazing power of the spoken word brings God's heart desires, such as healing, deliverance, blessings, and salvation of souls to mankind. Evidently, in Genesis chapter 1 verses 3, God Almighty said, Let there be light, and there was light. That is the amazing power of the spoken word. In the book of Mark, Chapter 5, verses 41. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said to the dead girl, Talita kum, which means, little girl, rise and walk. And she rose and walked. That is the amazing power of the spoken word. In the book of Acts, chapter 3, verses 6, Peter said to the crippled man at the beautiful gate, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise and walk. And the man sprang to his feet and began to walk. That is the amazing power of the spoken word. Today, in our time and generation, we are witnessing and experiencing the amazing power of the spoken word in the mouth of God's anointed servant, wise man Daniel, working through the amazing power of prayer points to bring healing, deliverance, blessings, and salvation of souls to mankind in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The video clips we are about to watch right now is about Mrs. Margaret in Kemacha, who resides in Dublin, Ireland, with her family. She was under the torment of the demonic spirit of asthma from birth that almost took her life. This asthma was a generational curse from her father's side because her father also suffered it before he passed on. Mrs. Margaret in Kemacha spent all her life savings on drugs and inhalers but all to no avail. Let us watch and see what became of the battle between the Spirit of God working through the amazing power of prayer points and the demonic spirit of asthma. Have mercy on me, Mark Matro, God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion. Blood out the stain of my Mark Matro sins. Wash me clean from my Mark Matro's guilt. Purify Mark Matro from Mark Matro's sin. For I, Mark Matro, recognize my rebellion. It haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I, have I Mark Matro, sinned. I have done what is evil in I, I, Mark Matro, have done what is evil in your sight. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. He's alive, amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever. He's alive, amen. Through your 91 senior wise man Daniel, I thank you, Father God, for giving him this final instruction, Father God. Lord Jesus Christ, forgive me, Mark Camacho, my sins, and release me from generation curses. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of property. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of sickness and diseases. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea. 
of the South African Sporting Clubs, with the staff of Moses and the Biden Scatter, the Red Sea of Numbers Fund of the Voters, with the Red Sea, with the, with the, with the staff of Moses I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Arthritis with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Cancer with the staff with the, with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Coronavirus with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Setback with the staff of Moses. I divide <coughs> and scatter the Red Sea of Career Failure with the staff of with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Nightmares with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Evil Attacks with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Blindness with the staff of Mo with the staff of Moses. I divide and scatter the Red Sea of Hearing Problems. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of mental problems. With the, with the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter in uh, the Red Sea of imprisonment. With the staff of Moses, I divide and scatter the Red Sea of disappointment and near success syndrome. And I cross over to my promised land where there is overflow of milk and honey. For God's mercy and favour will continue to speak for me, Mark Matra, and all that has to do with me, Mark Matra. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Amen, Amen, Amen. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>
Who are you? Who are you? Speak in the name of Jesus. You demon. Who are you? In the name of Jesus, I command you to speak. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command you to speak. You demon. Who are you? Who are you in this body? Who are you? Speak. Asthma. Take your asthma and go in the name of Jesus. How long have you been here? All her life. Speak in the name of Jesus. All her life. Speak! Her father, I gave it to her Jesus. father! I command you to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Take your sickness I and go. I will not go! You will go in the name of Jesus. Hey, I command you to go! I command you to go. Take your asthma go. and go. Go! In the this name of Jesus, Jesus is greater than you. Home. Jesus is greater than you. Uh, that body is not a temple. Uh, it's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Temple of the Holy Ghost, I command you to go, you demon. Take your asthma and go. Where? Go. Where? To where you come from, where, where? Jesus wants you to go. Where do I go? Go. Where you do I asthma, go? You must go. I in the name of Jesus. Go. In the name of Jesus, guys, I command you to go. My generation, I Go. Family. Pack your load and My go. Generations. In the name of Jesus. I command you to go in the name of I Jesus. I fight you. You spirit of asthma. I fight you. You cannot fight Jesus. You can't fight Jesus. You can't fight Jesus. Jesus is greater than you. Jesus is greater than you. I command you to go, you spirit of asthma. I command you to go. In the name of Jesus. At the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. At the mention of his name, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is God. I command you right now to go. Pack your Lord and go in the name of Jesus. I command you to go, you demon. Go, you spirit of asthma, go. Take your load and go right now in the name of Jesus. This woman. The word I speak is not my own. It's from Jesus. I command you to go. Leave her right now. In the name of in Jesus. The name of God. Go. If I go, she will do his work. Yes. No. Allah has to do what Jesus wants no. her to do. In the name of Jesus. How many years have I been fighting? It doesn't matter. Go. How many Go in the name of Jesus. He cannot so have is her. your last day. He cannot have her. No, 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 no. Pack your load and go. So there is mine. your last day. Your last day in this She's body. Mine. No, she belongs to Jesus. She doesn't belong to you. 
Go in the name of Jesus. Go to where, from where, where you came from. In the name of Jesus. Pack your load and go. Take everything that belongs to you and go right now. As I command you, go in the name of Jesus. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to go. Go. She doesn't belong to you. She belongs to God. No, 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 no. Go. Go. No dialogue. No dialogue. Go, 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 go. Pack your load and go right now in the name of Jesus. You demon. I said go. Spirit of asthma. Wherever you came from. Oh Jesus. Pack your load and go. Oh, Pack Jesus, your load. I trust you. Oh Jesus, I know you get me out of this situation. I know Jesus, you get me out of this situation. That's what she keeps saying. She keeps saying it. She keeps saying it. She keeps saying it. She won't stop. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I know you're going to get me out of this situation. I know. She's prayed for that spoken. She prays to give up. She's been spoken. Since I'm not a pastor. I want you to smoke. I want you to smoke. We live here. Pack your load and go, you spirit of addition. How many of you are in this body right now? Speak. Speak. Obesity. In the name of Jesus, I command you to speak. How many of you are in this body? Obesity. How many of you? Name the one after the other. She gets thin. And who again? She gets thin. Speak. In the name of Jesus, I command you to speak right now. You cannot go beyond the word of God. I say speak. In the name of Jesus. How many of you are in this body? How many of you are in this body? Listen to me. You demon. You're captured. You can't go anywhere. Pack your load and go right now in the name of Jesus. I command you to go. I command you to go where Jesus wants you to go. Vomit it out in the name of Jesus. Vomit it out right now in the name of Jesus. I command you. To vomit it up right now. Take your asthma. You spirit of asthma. Spirit of admission. Go in the name of Jesus. Jesus is greater than you. Go in the name of Jesus. Pack your load and go. You demon. Pack your load and go. Pack your load and go. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Quick. Pack your load and go right now in the name of Jesus. Everything that belongs to you in this body, pack them and go. Your asthma, your spirit of addiction, your smoking, whatever it is, whatever that belongs to you in this body, I command you to pack it right now and go in the name of Jesus. Go! Take it away right now. In the name of Jesus. Whatever that belongs to you, take it and go. In the name of Jesus.
Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. After Mrs. Margaret in Kimacho was delivered from the spirit of asthma by the amazing power of prayer points, she vomited all other sicknesses and diseases these demonic spirit had deposited in her body. Eventually, her lungs became free and she could breathe normal and freely. Now, let us listen to her as she explains how she had been dependent on drugs and inhalers all her life. All these drugs and inhalers only complicated her problems. Before her deliverance and healing, Mrs. Nkema Cho always slept with heavy noise coming out of her mouth and nose because her lungs were tight and breathing was difficult for her. Shalom, viewers all over the world. My name is Linus Nkema Cho. I'm in Nigeria. But I live in Dublin, Ireland. Here is my wife, Margaret Nkimacho, and our children, Emmanuel, Alicia, Joshua, and Samuel. We are here to testify the goodness of God in our life. When I met my wife about 19 years ago, I met her suffering from asthma. So according to her, she was born with it. 
and she has been living with it. Most of the time, most she goes to hospital, they admit her in the hospital because of asthma attack. And uh, she uses inhaler at least not less than five times every day. Whenever she does any little thing that stresses her up, she has to take this inhaler to be able to breathe properly. But glory be to God, wise man Daniel sent a prayer point to us. And I and my wife prayed with it. God so kind, his unfailing love on us, my wife got her healing through this prayer point. So today, I can boldly come out to say that my wife doesn't use inhaler anymore. I glorify God. I say thank you, Jesus. Hi, my name is Mark Matcher. I'm from Dublin, Ireland. And I'm, I'm, and I'm here to glorify the glory of God for what he has done in my life. I was born in Aspalic. And even when I was very young, all through my childhood, I used to go into hospitals, in and out, in and out, and in and out. Up to before my deliverance, before the wise man Daniel gave out this inst uh, divine instructive prayer, I was taking inhalers loads of times in the day, more than five times. My asthma, the asthma was always up, up, up. And anybody that has asthma, and what, uh, anybody that has asthma will know what I'm talking about. When I went to the doctor, the doctor told me that I have chronic asthma. Chronic asthma is the highest of all asthmas. I would have to take 10 puffs of inhalers every day. But it got so bad that I was taking more than 10 puffs a day. It was like the new next best thing to me. I'd have it in my pocket, I'd have it everywhere I go. I could never walk on the street without taking it with me. I could never go up to bed without taking the inhalers with me. I could never get up, I get, well, before I come down the stairs every morning, I'd have to take the inhalers. Every single day, I'd have to take the inhalers. During the day, morning and night. Even if I was going up the street, I'd have to have the inhalers in my pocket. There is no way I could go up that street without any inhalers in my pocket. And glory be to God. I give all, God all the glory for this. That today, I went up the street. I did not bring any inhalers. I didn't need any inhalers. And when I came back, I still didn't need any inhalers. When I got up this morning, I didn't need any inhalers. When I went to bed last night, I didn't need any inhalers. Yesterday morning when I woke up, I didn't need any inhalers. The night before, I didn't need any inhalers. And I give God all the glory that the Lord has healed me from asthma. Something that my father suffered and I see in all my life as well. Oh, and it's just horrible. It is just awful. You can go on every day. Your emotions because you can't you can't breathe. You're you're just tired. You're just tired. It takes all all the oxygen out of your body. You're tired. You don't want to do anything. But with this week, I find myself back. I'm doing lots of things again. And I thank God that I can do this today. <sighs> I thank you, Jesus. I give God all the glory. Now, come on, you go sit down for mommy. Now, these are all the little inhalers I've been taking all year. These are the three inhalers I have to take every single day. Two puffs in the morning and two puffs at night. This one I have to take two puffs four times a day. This is the Ventolin. 
This one here is an easy breather. I have to take two puffs four times again a day. This one here is the Ventolin. This one here is an easy breather. This one here is um, the Simple Cord. It's a steroid to go into your lungs to open your lungs. So it is. Without, these are the two I have to bring up the street every single day. Every single day. I cannot go outside the door without these. I have to, even if, as my daughter said, if I forget these two inhalers, and I'll come back myself if the children are not with me, or they'll come back and get them for me. Every morning I go, uh, every night before I go to bed, I have to have inhalers. I have to take inhalers. Every morning when I get up straight away, I have to take inhalers. During the day, I have to take inhalers. With glory to God, the Lord has taken away this asthma for me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And my lungs are free. And I can breathe. And I can breathe freely. And anybody that has chronic asthma, they know that they cannot do without their inhalers. Without the ventilating in the house, you'd get an asthma attack there and then. These two will hold till you get to see a doctor or till you get to see it, uh, go to the hospital. But if you have this one in the house, even a little bit of it, you're not, you're not too bad until the ambulance come. But these are the, this is the most important one to keep the wheezing down. And these ones are mostly for the oxygen. So I give God all the glory for taking the... I have asthma since I was born. And I thank God to this day that all this week I haven't taken inhalers at all. And I'm free. And I can breathe. Every morning I get up, I can breathe. Every night I go to bed, I can breathe. I can walk up the street, I can breathe. I can go, God, God all the glory for taking this asthma away. Thank you, Lord. Now that I don't need these inhalers no more, would you stop from Moses and them scatter all these inhalers? I thank you, Jesus. I give God all the glory. Here's all of the words. This it, God's prayer for our lives is real and our testimony is a sure thing. And when God says have patience and wait, his time is the best. Wait, his time is the best. I give God all the glory for giving this testimony today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Before her deliverance and healing, Mrs. Nkema Cho always slept with heavy noise coming out of her mouth and nose because her lungs were tight and breathing was difficult for her. <sighs> After her deliverance and healing, watch Mrs. Margaret in Kimacho sleeping like a newborn baby. Watch and see Mrs. Margaret in Kimacho walking a long distance, which was absolutely impossible before now. Because each time she tried it, she would be gasping for air and would want to use her inhalers. She wouldn't stay a day without using her drugs and inhalers. But today, all these have become a thing of the past.
friends without any problem no dikela no nothing glory be to god i need to get i need to get saved glory be to god Watch on her lead! Ellen! No, Ellen's no more! Glory be to God! We have walked this far now. And my wife is still walking. Properly, no problem, no inhaler, no nothing. Glory be to God. Um, we still have another half there to go. We still have. Ah! We still have half hour to go. And then we're going back down there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yay, glory be to God. Yep. This is where I usually take the inhaler. And I take it for a good five minutes before I get back down to the other hill. So I'll be puffing and I'll be like this and I'll be holding on. But look at me now. Look. <laughs> Yay, glory be to God. I don't need an inhaler. I can still breathe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Finally, you can see Mrs. Margaret in Kemacho jogging freely without getting tired of gasping for air. No need for drugs, no need for inhalers, and the joy of the Lord is her strength. This clearly shows that the gospel of God's grace challenges and changes everything. To his power, nothing is impossible. To God be the glory. Congratulations, viewers all over the world. The hour has come for you and your entire family to be healed, delivered, blessed, and saved through the amazing power of prayer points released by God Almighty himself through his anointed servant, wise man Daniel. Many have been asking for how they could get these prayer points. Therefore, to get a copy of these prayer points, you can contact Wiseman Daniel Ministries as you send in your prayer request through our WhatsApp prayer request line. Plus 234-9021-470247. Viewers all over the world, as you are ready to follow the divine instruction, remember to alert your husband, wife, sister, brother, or friend to get their camera or handset ready to record because something will happen that would make you know that indeed God is great. And at the end, make sure you send us such videos as evidence of your testimony through our WhatsApp testimony line. Plus 234-9015-11 3002 Finally, viewers all over the world, be careful of fraudsters who are trying to use this opportunity to defraud you. Freely, Wiseman Daniel received these prayer points from God's bedroom and freely he is giving you. These prayer points are not for sale and there is no financial bargain for it. If you pay anyone money to receive it or someone asks you to pay them money to receive it, it will not work for you and you will only end up increasing your problems. So don't be desperate about it. Be patient to get it free from the right source because salvation is free. 
We can't wait to hear your testimonies. God bless you. Shalom.